Are you kidding me? And you're gonna sit here and say I use you for money? You may as well fucking leave. Like, there's the door. Bye bye, bum. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by too bad. Alright, y'all, we back for another big body banger. You feel me? Listen. Today, we reacting to uh, another cheater exposure. Some some of them type videos. Somebody sent it to me. Hold on, let me find a person that sent it to me because I told y'all if y'all send me the links to videos and I'll react to it, I'll shout you out. So shout out pimp.sd for this video recommendation. It's supposed to be about this one girl that's kind of figuring out her boyfriend is a gold digger. She got all the bread. Usually it's the other way around. I've done reaction videos to gold diggers before and it was usually like the girl digging for gold with the man's Lamborghini, you know what I'm saying? But this is different, I think. So apparently, we got ourselves a little male gold digger. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I could, I, I could see myself as a gold digger one day. Well, not one day, because I'm married. But if I wasn't married and I didn't have destiny, it would. I could see myself being a gold digger if I saw a girl that had a lot of money. But um, I, I, anyways, we're gonna get into this. Um, I think it's by the same people that did the like caught cheating video that I said it was just quality production. The UDY people, shout out their channel. Their channel's fire. I love their channel. I even not only watch one of their videos. But this video is pretty long, so we just go hop right into this. But before we do, Joy.com. I see my two good third freak. But I'm say some fifty dollars. I redid the whole website. Well, not the whole website. I redid all the pictures on it, and I'm very excited about it. So I want y'all to go to the website. Even if you're not trying to buy some. Go to the website right now and look at it. Let me know, hey, I like the new pictures and stuff like that. Also, if you want to buy something, I am putting out a code now saying just use code UPDATE for 20% off your entire order. That means you could get a bundle for for uh for 20% less. I was trying to do the math in my head, but I ain't doing it fast enough. But without further ado, this video is mad long, 26 minutes long. So this reaction video is probably like 30 minutes, something like that. I don't know, but let's just hop right into this. I do got myself some snacks, I'm saying. Shout out to Pirate Booties. I guess you can say I do eat booty. Was it funny? All right, my fault, but this is what we snacking on today. If y'all ain't had these, I'm putting y'all on. Being gold digger, cheer, not cry, it's kind of raising the turn, blah, blah, blah. I can't read all that. Today we're gonna be helping Monique find Monique. out if her boyfriend is using her for her money. Her boyfriend's name is Austin, Austin. and to wait. find out- Why does he have, wait. Monique finds out if her boyfriend is using her for her money. Her boyfriend- He just got out of jail or something? My God, Austin, what you been on? Why he got a state penitentiary shirt on? This is crazy. My friend's name is Austin, and to find out if he is or isn't using Monique, we're gonna have my friend Madeline, Madeline. test his loyalty. Or in other words, Madeline is gonna be Madeline. hitting on Austin and asking him on a date. Now this is all going down in the comfort of my own home, which is an upstairs apartment and a downstairs office. Madeline and Austin are currently downstairs, and Austin is unaware that an upstairs area even exists. Now to make sure things stayed that way, we shut the door that leads upstairs, because it can only be opened from the inside. Okay, Plus, gotcha. this ensured the obscurity of the upstairs area, which tonight is serving as our command center. Nice. This is where Monique will be able to watch and listen in to Madeline hitting on Austin from three live feeds. Nice. Two of those live feeds are coming from our home security cameras and the third okay, this light is a lot of stuff. Of Austin I just want to editing the video by Get Halloween the juice, and man. it's no longer to fully understand everything that is happening let's go back two weeks prior to the okay, first time that I ever prior. met Monique. Are you are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> man. She's oh, very sure. Yeah. So Monique came over on this day to tell us exactly why she feels that Austin could just be using her. I do kind of feel like I'm being used in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know though. So what do you do for this guy? How does he how does he oh. use you? So far, like I've provided him with money for like food, clothes, Ubers. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a car, so like he'll borrow my car sometimes. So has Austin ever directly asked you for money or anything like that? Or is he just kind of asked for Ubers and you just still have to eat? You've actually given him money, money. He got fired and was trying to file for unemployment. So that's why you give him money, because you feel bad for him. It's because I can do it for him. Like, I wouldn't just do it, but obviously I care. Okay. And that's why I feel like She's getting scammed, I can tell you right now. She's getting big scammed. It's okay, though. She and there were two things that Monique said that really stood out to me. The first was that Austin had no car. He doesn't have a car, so, like, he'll borrow my car sometimes. And the second thing was the job that Monique recently helped him get. So does he have a job? He does now. I helped him get a job. Uh -huh. He's a bartender. Oh. See, I didn't know it then, but two weeks later, those two things would create the perfect opportunity for Madeline to hit on Austin so that Monique could find out if he is or isn't. What the heck is these people wearing in the show? What the heck is they wearing? Why does he have on a Halloween costume and the girl has on a, a Superwoman, Wonder Woman costume? What the heck that is? Using her. Hey. Yo, yo. So we are getting everything set up right now. How are you? Where are you? Are yeah, you? I'm 
to meet up with him, so I'm like 30 minutes away. Okay, um, just keep me updated, okay? Right. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. As you all know, this was the night that Madeline would be asking Austin on a date. In order for her to do so, on this night, we made Austin believe that Monique, Madeline, Loris, Evelyn, and Yokes were all throwing a Halloween party. God damn. God damn. God damn. But that's not all, because since Austin is a bartender, we also made him believe that he would be making the drinks for the party. Nice. Of course, we made Austin believe those things thanks to Monique. Now the primary drink that we wanted Austin to make was jungle juice, and that was for a very important reason. So as I'm sure many of you guys know, the general consensus for making jungle juice is pouring a bunch of liquor, a bunch of juice, and a bunch of chopped up fruit into a jug. Well, to chop up all the fruit we got that night was gonna take Austin a while, but that's the point. To supposedly help him move faster, we were gonna have Madeline help him chop the fruit. But in reality, she would only be doing so because this was when she would be asking him on a date. All right guys, you guys know exactly what you guys are doing, correct? You guys know your lines, you guys got everything down. Okay, I'm already seeing this is gonna be good. Um, they got it all planned out. They got all the stuff planned out. The man's gonna make the drinks. The girl's gonna be flirting with him while he's making the drinks. I just want to see what the man, why is he wearing a prisoner? Oh, it's a Halloween costume. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I was stupid for a second, but I'm smart again. Gotcha. The time has now come, guys, for me to hide myself up here and for my friends to prepare themselves downstairs because Monique will be arriving with Austin anytime soon. So with our cameras all set up and our game plan ready to go, all that was left to do was wait for Monique to arrive because since Austin has no car, she was also responsible for bringing him over. Nice. Well, sure enough, our cameras eventually captured the moment that Monique arrived with Austin. Okay, so I've actually turned our security cameras downstairs onto live mode. That way I could see everything that's happening downstairs in real time. And so far, everything seems to be going as planned. So Monique has just walked into our apartment with Austin exactly how we wanted her okay. to. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that Monique walked in with Halloween decorations. Well, we actually asked her to do so for a very important reason. See, in order for Madeline to make her move, we needed her at that table with Austin, and we needed everyone else to make up an excuse to leave. Well, after setting up those decorations, Yokes, Loris, Evelyn, and Monique will have the perfect excuse to do so. Now, to not draw any suspicion to our plan, we had Loris be the one to eventually stop Austin from decorating and walk him over to the bar table, and we had him also be the one to get Madeline to help Austin cut the fruit for the jungle juice. And so with that, Loris. Okay, this is playing out perfectly. I'm not gonna lie. It seems like a real show right now. I got my popcorn. I'm eating good right now. I forgot I wasn't even making a video for it for a little minute. I was just watching the show. Successfully sets the stage for Madeline to make her move. All that needs to happen now is everyone else needs to finish setting up those decorations so that they can finally make up their excuse to leave. setting up the decorations and they're gathering around and I think this is it. I think they're about to make up their excuse. There's a party city and a Walmart nearby, so... Okay. I could just... Yeah, I could just... Yeah, you guys got drinks. That's your detail. Jeez, I'm an expert over there. So our excuse for everyone to leave was that everyone was going to go grab some more decorations because supposedly Monique did not bring enough. Okay, you guys think we need Okay, can I, I want to get into the juicy stuff now. I'm sick and tired of all this foreplay and everything like that. I want to get into the clapping. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know. Just so we had to make it seem like they were getting a lot of decorations plus beer in order for it to be believable that all of them are going with Monique to go to the store. In the end, our excuse gave us exactly what we wanted. Everyone successfully exited the apartment except Madeline and Austin. Now, Austin was under the impression that everyone went to the store, but in reality, this was when everyone made their way upstairs. My friend Ken was the one responsible for fetching them. Hello. Hey, are you guys outside? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna run and grab you guys downstairs right now. I'll see you guys in a second. So Josh, you're gonna follow. Okay, I'll come right now. Done. Right, see you in a second. So Ken had five minutes to retrieve Monique and everyone else because per instructions that we gave Madeline, she would start making her move in five minutes. So Madeline knows to give us at least five minutes for everyone to get up here and then she's gonna start. So in those five minutes, everyone quickly crammed into Monique's car and she moved it from the front of our apartment uh -huh. to our back parking lot. Okay. Monique, is your, uh, is your heart beating? Yeah, it is. When does the, the prank start? 
From there, everyone then took an elevator upstairs and walked a short distance to our- Okay, the prank starts right here. Okay, so here we go. This is it. Madeline is making her move. No, let's have a Maybe we should. I'm sure Mo would have liked that. Taking a picture? I don't think she cares. Yeah, Marsha Green's like a thing or something. I've never mentioned you like that before, but. Doesn't know we're doing for a while. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't feel like that. I mean, she's mentioned you before, but not about you guys dating or anything. Why are you using me? I don't know. Why do you want to know? I mean, you guys, you guys are cute. Boom! Boom! Right there! As soon as he said, why do you want to know? He obviously wants her to say, oh, hello, I'm trying, I'm trying to see what you talking about, Austin. And I'm saying, okay, now was, now the spicy stuff happening. Like I said, but, yeah, I mean, it may or may not be the alcohol talking, but, you know, you can always level up, do better, you know, with Susie, you are But why is that? Is it sounding like it? This is sounding. So how long do you have this Airbnb for? Um, for the night. Okay. Uh, what are you doing there? Well, obviously we're coming through for a party that we're all going to be at later, so yes. I'm going to be here. <laughs> what are you doing after? I don't know. Honestly, I'll probably be so shit-faced out of my mind. I'm going to be crazy people, and probably just leave them alone and out. What if we pick up? Austin, <laughs> caught lacking, Mr. Austin. <laughs> that easy? Is that all it takes for these people to cheat? You know what I'm saying? Now, me personally, I would never cheat. Nothing can fold me. I don't care if the most, the, 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 whatever girl y'all want to say, I don't care if they can't flash their titties in front of me. I'm not even looking. You know what I'm saying? But this man is folding instantly. This man is absolutely folding expeditiously. Now saying he's not even putting no consideration into his girlfriend. Damn. So it appears that Madeline was slowly making her move, but Austin just caught her off guard by asking her to kick it. What does he mean by that? What did you mean by that? Like, like, uh, I just like don't want to assume that he's on it, and then they actually never take it off. Well, what do you think of it? I mean, I'm trying to pull up. I mean, you know, we can kick it, make it all later. It. Go home later, clap the clap, clap. clap. We would clap. You want to cut? I'm just saying we could kick it, you know? Like we could, we we could, could kick pop, it, then I'll kick your cheeks in, I'll say. Actually, you mean like hook up and stuff? Hook up? Yeah, just say yes. I, I mean, I'm going to say that. Yeah, I mean, we could, like, you know, we could. I mean, if you wanted to, you mean that'd be cool. Uh, we don't that boy, to, Austin is mean, down you know, astronomically. Want, that was fast to just like that. I think this thing is over. Like it hasn't even been five minutes. Madeline straight up was like, you're saying you want to kick it, but in reality, you're just trying to hook up, right? And Austin was like, pretty much. Okay, I'm only saying this in response to what you can say to me. I don't know. What do you mean? What would you mean in the circle? This is in the first place if you don't know say. I mean, I didn't say, hey, Austin, let's like hook up. Like, all right, like, that's not what I meant. Like. like, it's pissing me off. I literally brought him to the party in my car. Like, <laughs> She bought him in her car with the money. He probably wore a Halloween costume that she paid for. Now I'm saying he brushed his, te her, his teeth with her toothpaste. Like, come on, my girl. Come on, bro. Monique is at a loss for words. And if you guys aren't yet, you guys will be soon. Because really? this thing is far from over. A far from yeah, over. Talk to that. me. How would you feel about Well, because obviously, Monique, like, you guys are. Yeah, not even official, but I'm officially taking care. Yo, sorry, yo, sorry, but I'm not saying y'all lucky y'all cuss, man. He really just said that Austin really wants to kick it with Madeline, and now he's saying that he and Monique aren't even dating. We're, uh, we're talking, but we're not official. 
or anything, you know? This is really freaking interesting. Like, we've kissed a couple times, that's it. We're literally just talking. Yeah, yeah, kissing makes you a thing. Like, I'm not No, it doesn't. Okay, no, like, no way. That totally makes you a thing. I don't do that. No one does that. Wait, wait, wait pause, y'all, real quick. I'm not gonna keep pausing it, but let me know in the comments down below. Does kissing make you a thing? If you kiss somebody, is, is y'all now dating? Now I'm saying? We're just talking. Like, there's not a commitment to that. Is it like a certain way of like, together? Is it you, her? No. No, it's not me. But, I mean, I don't know. She's had like some bad relationships in the past or something. She's And so with that, Monique falls back defeated. In less than five minutes, Austin traded her with zero hesitation. <laughs> now the crazy part is, all the work that we did for Madeline to ask Austin on a date was pretty much pointless, pointless. because Madeline didn't even get to ask him on a date. Austin failed on bag. his own doing. But keep paying attention, because if you guys think that it can't get any worse, trust me, it I'm can. I'm trusting you, man, and I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Hey, you got This is fire. I love these videos. Y'all keep sending me these videos. These videos are fun. These are very interesting. You know what I'm saying? I definitely can see like when students do stuff like that. I don't know. I, I remember she told me that she was like helping me off the nurse and stuff. And like, I don't want to ruin anything that's not going on. Like, Wait, she just said, she told him that the girl said that he, he a broke bum? My God, come on, man. What do you think she helps me out financially? I'm tired of yeah. And she, that's what she said, that she gives me money and helps me out financially. She did help with some things. Okay, so our job was pretty much done, right? Like, we knew that Austin wasn't loyal to Monique. Well, Madeline knew that too, which is why she backed off a while ago. But as opposed to changing the subject to give Monique a chance to compose herself and decide if she wants to confront Austin or not, Madeline instead decides to tell Austin that she knows that Monique helps him with money. I don't know if her plan was to, like, guilt trip him or something, but listen to Austin's response. Well, she told me one time that she was helping me out with money, like, I'm sorry, like, can I take a spot? No, go for it, go for it. That's all for you. I have money, I have a job. It's crazy that you should say that because there you go, my God. I give her money all the time. <laughs> he said he gives her money. Okay, Austin. Okay, Austin. Okay. So, okay, okay. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna lose my shit. What? Yeah, it's the nerve? No, it's not for real. I buy her shit all the time. I gave her money today, actually. Fuck back. Like, I told you, I have a job, I have money, I take care of myself. Like. I got him that gig. He did not have a job before me. So Austin drops the bombshell that Monique doesn't even give him money. In fact, he's saying that he's the one who wow. does stuff for her. He's for show trying to act like I'm using him. I swear, I'm telling you, seriously, she's twisting shit around. Like, that's not true, right? No. It's, 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 it's not no. true. I have, like, proof, physical proof on my phone. Okay, let me look over the volume on this thing. So, so, so is this enough? This what, what, is what, more what, than what, enough. What is your take on this? I want to be his ass. <laughs> I'm sitting there saying- No, this is gonna be good. I, this is gonna be good. I hope she, I hope she can tell you. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? That I use him. That is so f***ing twisted and backwards, like you don't even understand. I'm a good man, I'm a good paying job. We have one time, I got a $150 tip from a guy, too. Which, you know, that doesn't happen. What does that mean? That just goes to show. What, what is he wearing right now? His costume. Uh, you bought him that costume. Oh, you bought him that costume. You bought him that costume. I told y'all she bought the costume. You bought him that costume. I'm so like, I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> I am not going to lie here. I was dying a little inside when I saw that. Like, I was like, what the hell? Like, I am not going to lie here. I was dying a little inside when she said that because I just find it so funny that Austin would say that Monique is using him when this guy came to the party in the costume that she bought him. <laughs> See, he was like, well, I don't want to come if I'm not going to have a costume. Like, I can't afford it. So do you have, like, a boyfriend or something? Like, how are you guys? Not have a boyfriend. You're not talking to anyone currently? My last relationship me up and he's been pushing me to be with him he tells me he loves me already now he's sitting here saying that i use him which he like literally this does is bad. not have a dime to give me this so is bad. austin has utterly failed this test allowing monique to determine that he more than likely is just using her which means that the time has come for monique to decide if she wants to confront him Damn. i gotta ask you now monique i'm sorry no you're good um i gotta ask you now though um mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Do you want to confront him? Do you oh, not want to yeah. do you want to tell him? No, absolutely. He wants to embarrass me. Let's All embarrass right. him. Let's fuck. He's gotta go off. I gotta no, seriously. Oh. He's probably gonna try to defend himself the best he can, but the proof, 
is on my phone. Like, I can literally show you everything. This is bullshit. Okay. This is uh, Okay, so Monique has chosen to confront Austin. However, keep in mind that Austin right now has a knife in his hand. <laughs> well, since we didn't know how he was going to react, we wanted Yokes to take the knife away from him before Monique confronts him. You, you can literally go down this door and stuff. Just be like, hey, yo, I found the back door. We'll literally be up seconds after you go in. Wrong door. <laughs> You're going into the closet, bro. <laughs> so with Yokes going down the correct door, all that was left to do now was wait for him to accomplish his mission. Hey! I think you guys cut up enough fruit by now. Okay, like, you, you guys cut up all this stuff right here? Yeah, we need a jug for the jungle juice. We got a jug coming. <laughs> That was too slick. Yoke successfully takes the knife away from Austin, which meant that the coast was clear for Monique to make her way downstairs right. to this confront him. And like the video right now! And so, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys Wait, have me. to use the restroom, then now would be the let time like to the go. Video. If this you guys great. are multitasking, let now would be the time too. to stop. If you guys have given this video a big thumbs up, then now would be the time I to do it, so. And most importantly, if you guys do not have your talkies, then now would be the time to grab them, because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, shit. So, um, I'm using you, right? Is that that's what's going on right here? Me. I'm what using the, you. Yeah. What the fuck is right? What the fuck is this? Book? What? Is, what? What's happening? You tell me. What was this little conversation you were just having? I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's cool. You can play dumb. It's okay. Like, just don't even fuck. Okay, so I will clarify. Um, this whole party was just part of the test. We are actually not coworkers. We were just trying to see if you would stay loyal to me or not. And you <laughs> okay. You have the opportunity to prove yourself, but you just fucking failed. And your word doesn't mean shit to me anymore. Especially since you want to say I'm using you for money. Are you really, bro? Really? <laughs> you said sting operation on me. Oh, <laughs> Fancy sh you want. The point is, your thirsty ass is trying to hook up with her. I saw all of it. And on top of that, you want to manipulate the situation and say that I use you for money when your broke ass can barely maintain a fucking job. Really? I have a job. Okay, a so job that I helped you get. We'll see how long that shit lasts. You're always getting fired for calling out all the time. So okay, look, this sense. this is dumb. Okay, you set a sting operation on me, Mo. Like, what the f What is your deal right now? You, my deal you're wasting is that a lot of time. You're like, wasting wow. my f***ing time. Are you kidding me? And you're gonna sit here and say I use you for money? You may as well f***ing leave. Like, there's the door. Bye bye, bum. Okay, okay. You're not f***ing All life. right, all right. You wanna talk to me like that? How about this shit? I'm not f***ing leaving until you give me my money. Boom, how about that? Wait, 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 what? Wait. I'm not f***ing leaving until you give me my money. Boom, how about that? Are you serious? Yeah, well... Are you serious right now? You wanna know what? I was gonna be nice and let you f***ing ban, but f*** you that. I gave you money today. Really? You know I did. Really? The $5 for the gas. There ain't no way! There ain't no frick! Ain't no way! Austin, you should've left! You could, you should have left when you had some dignity, my guy. You should have left while you had some freaking dignity, my guy. Are you fucking serious? You want to know what he gave me five bucks for? He used my car and gave it back to me on E. He used a half a tank. Are you serious? That money? Yeah, it's five bucks. Oh, well, yeah, I buy you food, clothes, Uber, all that shit. How does that even equate? Five bucks, five bucks. That'll get me home. I'm not going to let you fucking keep it. You want, you want, you want your five dollars back? Yeah, I want that shit back. For using my car and you gave it back to me on E? Are you dead ass? Yeah, five bucks. <laughs> you are a bum. Oh, really? You are wow. a bum. Are oh. you kidding me? Oh, True really? card. You want to know what, Lenny? You're fucking ungrateful. I've done a lot for you and I've been there for you. Because why would you even set up a I'm not grateful? Me? Yeah. I fucked your fucking life and I'm ungrateful. Yeah, well, you are fucking ungrateful. Okay. How about no. you just, how about you just go give me my money and I'll just walk and I'll leave. Okay, that would solve everything. How about you go do that? You want to be petty? I can be petty. Yeah, petty. okay. I'll get your five bucks. Stay here. Wait, get your movie. She might go get the strap. She might go get the strap. She's about to go. I do not condone getting the strap. I do not. YouTube, listen. I don't condone getting the strap. Listen, I do not. But she's about to get it. Let's go. Yes. You just did not work at all, remember? Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Stupid no, ass. just wait, wait. You're going to need the fuck to get back inside. Does anybody have the fuck? Whoever just made the fuck. Because I need to get him the fuck out of here. Yeah. Let me hurry up. Because I don't want to be here anymore. Shut your ass up. You don't have nowhere to go, you bum ass.
Oh, you have lots so of places to go. To do. Okay, so you're gonna do. You just need to get the fob, and then we can get. Yeah. We're, we're gonna get you your five bucks. Or do you want? Do you want me? To, I can give you the five bucks either right now. Too. Just give me yeah. f five bucks. Yeah. I do not want to be here anymore. No, this no, is no, no, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the water's still in there. Uh, no, we'll follow them. Follow them down. You please stop recording me. Yeah. So Monique reluctantly agreed to give Austin back his five bucks. She makes her way to her car to grab the money as the rest of us wait with Austin. Uh, I guess just five bucks, bro. You might as well just go, dog. Just don't talk to me right now. No, I guess five bucks, bro. You should just please stop talking to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, those were a very awkward and long ten minutes. So Austin, does Monique really ask you for money? Dude, I couldn't do this. I would have got mad. I would have had a hand on him. I would, he can't, you're not going to talk to me like that because you broke. You ain't, you ain't going to talk to me like that because you broke. You mad because you broke. You a bum. You ain't like, come on, bro. Honestly, Austin. Austin, honestly. 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 Austin, now, if it's not already obvious exactly what that is, you guys will see soon enough. But in hindsight, it appears that it was at this moment that the idea entered Monique's head. For reference, this was the moment after Austin demanded his money and called Monique ungrateful. Like I said, if it's not already obvious what Monique plans on doing, you guys will see soon. I don't know what Monique, what's Monique planning? I, I don't know. I, what the heck is Monique planning? Because maybe I'm stupid. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, now. Just once, no. So, I don't have five, but I have a 20. Okay. But, um, first of all, that oh. I bought you, right? Oh, yeah. Off, I bought you that. So why don't you take it all off since you want to be petty about your little, your little gas money. What the f You want to be petty about your five dollars, you're going to strip. That. I'm not giving you my shit. Your shit? Are you serious? I just said I bought it with my money. Are you stupid? Uh, how that pay, first of all. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. You really looking like I made you, so I'm going to need you to give my shit back. You want to be petty about five dollars? Give me my shit back. <laughs> you want to lie on me. You okay. ain't ready for no okay. commitment. Okay, okay. So well, strip. Get no, what the f You want no. your money, don't you? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you your shit later. How does that sound? Uh, no, because I don't want to see your f***ing face later. We will never speak again, so okay. strip. Yeah. Fine, then I'll just ship them to you. With what money, bro boy? Are you serious? You're gonna Venmo oh me God. to ship my sh No, strip now. I'm not fing. Follow going. directions. I am now. not. This is absolutely amazing. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, bro. This is great. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Going home Follow half directions oh, now. I'm I don't not, give a fing. I'm not going home half fing naked. Look, that's not my fing problem, Austin. I don't give a fing. I don't give a fing. That's your issue, not mine. So, come on. You want your money, right? You want your money, right? So gets to stripping. Okay. Girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Here's your. Sh Look. Here's your. Hey, I ain't looking at that. And I'm hungry. Here's your. I ain't looking at that. So bad. They blow your heart. No. Here's Man. your shirt. Here's your other shirt too, by the like way. Like I said, you want to be petty? I could be petty. You should be embarrassed right now. You should leave. Okay. Oh. You should leave. Bye, bye, Paul. Hit the bell. You know what? Fuck you. This is ridiculous. Get the out, clown. Get the out, clown. Damn, so Monique gave Austin a taste of his own medicine. He got petty and wanted his $5 back, so she got petty and wanted the costume that she bought him back. This, of course, would result in Austin having to undress himself and go home half naked. You know, at least he's out of my face, because I was ready to rock his jaw. I know, bro, I see. Okay, breathe, 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 breathe. I think we all learned a valuable lesson here today, people. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, because you only stand to make a $15 profit. Man, this is some quality YouTube content. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This person, let me turn on the post notification for this person too, because this man is, he has some quality content. I like that. I like you, I like that. This, okay, let me break this down. I'm gonna break down what the heck happened. What the heck happened in this video, right? Boom, Austin, bum, straight bum. We knew he was a bum. By the way, he decides to wear a prison costume to a Halloween costume. Anybody who wears a prison costume to a Halloween costume party is a straight bum. He don't have money. That was the cheapest, the cheapest thing he had to think because you know what I'm saying? And second, Austin, right? Try to impress a girl. He, he, he wants to, 
he's kind of switching the roles. He wants to seem like he has money so the girl could be a gold digger. Like when he was saying, yeah, I'm pretty well off. My girl be getting money from me, actually. He's trying to make it seem like he's worth gold digging off of. So that that Madeline girl that was talking to him while I was making the juice would want to, you know what I'm saying, do, 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 do the stupid, you, know, you feel me, do the, you know what I'm saying, with him because she perceives he's had money. So he's trying to flip the roles of being a broke boy to being having money. Second of all, it was actually really funny to me when he blatantly, it'd be funny when people get caught in their lie and they blatantly keep going with the lie. Like when he was talking about, yeah, um, you're ungrateful, I do all this for you. Like, yeah, boy, you don't do nothing for her. The only thing you do for her is become a headache. You are a liability, my friend. You is a waste of money, Austin. All the broke people out there, uh, sorry, not all the broke people. If you like this man, Austin, and you're not taking care of your girl, no, I'm saying, you're not trying to take care of your girl. It's different if you don't have money so you can't pay for everything. But if you're not even trying to get money so you can at least try and help to pay for things, you're a bum. You're a bum. That's all I'm saying. But y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. And I'm saying this video was absolutely amazing. Like I said, y'all can hit me up on Instagram over there at Juber underscore. Send me whatever, whatever videos you want me to react to. And don't forget, Droid.com by two third free. But I'll say so fifty dollars. Also use code UPDATE. U P D A T E for twenty percent off your order. You better use it now because they're gonna be out of stock real fast. And I don't know how long I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the discount code up there. But um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through